Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Castoniol, an RPG Maker horror game where you work as a janitor in an SCP style facility and hopefully you survive the day. And open them when it's over, as if nothing ever happened. Alright, we're doing our job. This leads to the train we took to work today. Try to leave. We're just gonna go home. I'm not going to work, I quit. You make it out to the rail station and get back in your seat. But by the time the tram pulls out again... Lawrence. It's already begun. The power cuts short. The tram goes careening off the rails. As the train nears impact, you close your eyes. I guess we die. <laughs> And open them when it's over, as if nothing ever happened. Oh, it linked into the final words. Since so we can't leave, we can't quit our job. The garbage, it's not full. Yet. Alright, we need to do our job. Very small tools, paper rolls, and cleaning supplies. It's full of soap dispensary fills. Hide your phone in the breaker box? Why would I want to do that? Sure, why not? Done. A bucket of water. You can clean your mop here. Mop. Got the mop. 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 Bedrock research. Yeah, ba da ba doo Oh, Lawrence! Punctual as ever, I see. You should know that Mr. Davis was looking to hear from you about your task today. As you can tell, the place has really fallen apart in your absence. Just have to keep him waiting too long, now. Have a fine day. And yourself prematurely- wait, what? I hit the shift button. I thought that was like sprint, turned out it wasn't. The garbage, it's not full. Evening, Lawrence. Oh, might want to check the garbage when you have a minute. I swear I saw someone toss your Let's Player soul in there. I mean, your screwdriver in the trash. Probably Michael. Fucking Michael. The garbage is not full. Scare bearings around this area. What? It's fine. A spill, clean up. Cool. Clean as a whistle. Toss out the can? Yes. Hey you. Throw away that can. They're all such slobs. Garbage is not full. Clean up the spill. Good enough. It's a sizable vent shaft. You've crawled in for maintenance once or twice though, not in a while. It smells bad in there. Let's remember that. Eleanor. Um, has Mr. Davis said anything about the... You know, power short? That's kind of thing serious. Now nah, we're cool. Please clean and put the coffee machine away when you're finished with it. Thank you. Pour a cup of coffee? Got the coffee. Salt pepper shakers. A vending machine. The selection leaves something to be desired. Clean, clean, clean. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Mop, mop, mop. So far, it's not a bad job. Your mom's just bringing more of the mess around. You need to wash. Alright, let's go back real quick. Interesting the color contrast of, like, purple. Clean mop. I just knew. A motivational poster. It doesn't do well as spurring into action. The bomb you read. This game is going to be played multiple times. Take notes, try different things. Figure out how to stop it, and if you get- st Oh god, just press the shift key. Whatever that means. Power's out. You hear screaming, clawing, thrashing. You feel your way for the dark until you reach the janitor's closet so you can get your phone. Oh no. Oh no, it's a mess. The water's thick of blood. Oh no, the vent. Why am I working today? Oh no, it's locked down. Oh no, I didn't take all the garbage. Am I still gonna get paid? Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Another mess. What 
of the cafeteria. Oh wait, mess. No point in cleaning it. No, the coffee! The only deserving victim was this pot of awful coffee. Never mind. She isn't breathing. Eleanor! The vent. Claw marks. That can I threw away is back on the floor again. Your phone is out of power. It's dark. This happened more times than you can count. You're not sure what it is. You're not sure why. Maybe it's some other monster in the facility that wants you alive. But you can't escape it. Not even when tears into your sweet flesh. Like it does now. Ripping you limb from limb in the dark. You have to kill it. Or barring that yourself. But for now, you close your eyes. And open them when it's over. As if nothing ever happened. So this is... This is SCP Groundhog Day... Ray Zero... Not quite Higurashi. Maybe, because I, there was like there was some memory wipe stuff involved with that. Let's keep my phone on me. But yeah, we still need to do a job, so like... Oh, I see. It's confidential, no phone. Well, let's get some cleaning done. Things may go to the hell, but they can at least be a clean hell. We haven't been in this room yet. What's over here? Aunt Davis. Ah, Lawrence, about time you showed up. The facility needs a real scrub down. Trash shouldn't need sorting out, though there's a few cans here and there. Main thing's all the spills. Get your mom to take care of it. You can examine things down on the second level when you're done. I'll have the elevator code for you as per usual. Oh, don't toss those out. Porn documents. Nothing for your eyes, might I add. Garbage is not full. Reminder to allocate new storage space for the lab equipment. Abstract painting you don't fully get. Probably more expensive than you are. Behind the desk, please. Anything else I can do for you? What's downstairs? Lawrence, we've been over this. The very best answer for both of us is nothing. The concern's only fair and all, but try and leave it to the paid professionals focusing on your work. The light's going out. You can trust the prior to safety. Oh, please make it quick. I'm very busy. What was that? Not sure, but you don't need to worry. I'm already in the process of contacting the necessary channels. Best we can do is continue to go about our days, yeah? Collins. Throw your can at your office. Nothing is used. Boy, we're gonna die. This is a pretty short timer. Oh, good, you're here. Be here and give me some coffee, won't you? Oh, yeah. You want coffee? Well, let's go and get you that coffee. So, the boss mentioned something about cleaning up the spills, and then they'll send us to a lower level to clean more spills. So, it looks like that's one objective we can get done. This one's a little different. Coffee. Finally, give it here. Do I get something out of this? Tastes like garbage. I know that's not your problem, though. Don't worry. Cheap swill is all it is. I used to foot work here. Perhaps it's just my nerves. But what the hell happened with the lines? Any ideas, Lawrence? Hmm. Guess you weren't useful after all. Dallas. Locked. Smith. Uh... Redacted. 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 Garbage. It's on the password protected. Loose documents. Put them away. Redacted the redacted. You stopped carrying a while ago. Power's out. You're screaming, clawing, crashing. You feel way into your dark. Get your phone. Okay. We gotta move. Well, everyone is presumably dead. We need to see if we can get something. Okay, the boss is gone. Ports on subject 5002. The scope of what we're operating with is far from anything we've ever scraped the surface for of. 
Our current analysis of the subject 5002 is similarly limited. Roughly 30 meters of mass of the capacity to expand as it comes in contact with and simulates biologic material. You made the blob? To that end, it is a kind of hunter. It will often deliberate its prey with tri-pronged skewers of its tendrils and leave them for consumption at a later time while it hunts over prey. We have reason to suspect it can feed itself in this manner ad infinitum using some fashion of temporal anomaly, repeating the same few minutes of its hunting spree until sated on flesh. Oh. The dangers of this creature are ab ab abstronomical. I'm trying to read fast. We advise cutting off its life support at once. Use access code 3041. Let me write that down. Okay. And purge its existence from the records before it's too late. Your phone is out power and we're dead. It's dark. This has happened more times than you can count. You're not sure what it is. You're not sure why. Maybe it's some other monster in the facility that wants you alive. But you can't escape it. Not even when tears into your sweet flesh, like it does now, ripping from limb from limb in the dark. But for now, you close your eyes. And open them when it's over, as if nothing ever happened. Okay, so we have something of use. We were able to get something from the boss's room before we, uh, died. The other repeat story is, um, all you need is kill, or something like that. They made a movie of it that was actually somewhat decent. Okay. So, we haven't checked every room. So you're dead no matter what. Or at least you're not here. Lab 101. Caution, no liquids, contaminants of any kind. Dr. Hollow, we'll just have to wait until after the test. Results for subject 5002 are... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, did you need something? Oh, Lawrence, good, good, you're here. Can you get Mike's room open? We keep so much of our surplus supply in there and the suit's getting worn out. Medical cabinet. Take out some sleeping medication. Now, what was the sleeping? Oh, the coffee. Mix the sleeping medication. There. We can use that to uh, do something in which I don't know. Here. Finally, give it here. There goes the power flash. There goes you. She'll be fine. That's like it matters anyway. Look for the laptop. She's still logged in. Good. You open the list of passcodes for the containment level and look up today's. 4369. You might be able to end at this. Write that down. Alright. We're good. That's another clue we'll need. We do need to get into something, because they said, like, they need a suit. Warning's not to take medication without advance authorization, but they won't be alive long enough to stop you, will they? Boy, that's more of it. Everyone's dot dot, looks white as a sheet. They know what's coming. No. We've not gone to this place at all. There's more spills here. That is locked. Stress trying to get a bit full. My screwdriver? How did this get in here? Locked. Um, the vent. We can use that screwdriver in the vent somewhere. Right? Maybe we can get into like one of the rooms from the vent. It's dark. Climb in. Okay. Whoa. No, let's go to the right. Oh no. Oh no, it's begun. It's too late. Power's out. You're screaming, clawing, and thrashing. Now her body's got blocked the vent. We need to find something else we can do with our life. 
Yeah, once once the body's blocking the vent, that's it. We're done here. That computer gets broken. Maybe let's check out the lab. We never get to really see the lab. Locked down. Okay. Over here. What about these rooms? Locked. Locked. What about here? What about spawn? No, we're dead. Shift. You close your eyes. And open them when it's over. As if nothing ever happened. Okay, we need to move real fast. Do we need to bring our mop every time? Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't take much time from our run. So we need to get the screwdriver. Prano. And then we need to get in the vent. Get in the, uh, some of those locked rooms. And see what we can there. We have a code, I believe, for this elevator. No, we don't. We have another code. We don't have a three no number one, though. Okay, let's go. Before the power starts going out. Let's go to the right first. See where this leads. Nowhere. Climb up, yes. Can go north. But the rooms I wanted to go into are to the right. No, we can't go for these vents. We need like an open one. I guess they don't open from the inside. Come on, come on, come on. Blood. Blood's a good thing, technically. It means we... Oh no, here we go, it begins. Over there, let's go there. Our life won't last long, we need to move. Okay, perfect. This will be written notes on personal stationery. I worked here for long enough to know when we get in over our heads, but I've never even seen something like this we have downstairs. I'm reading very fast. Apologies. It's so beyond us that we don't even have a name for it. It takes every fiber of my being not to go down with a hazmat suit and kill it myself, but only Davis has the 40 assets is terminal and confidence life support. Fucking Davis. And people call me the asshole. I should. Running ends there. It was useless to me. Keep claw marks. It's already, like, escaped. See? Spare hazmat suit. Okay, so that's where you would get the hazmat suit. But you can't give it to him. Well, it's not probably not meant for him anyways. Okay, so what else can we do with our life? We need a passcode to go down. That's one thing. Probably need to clean. And get the code from the boss. But we're not gonna be able to clean all this in time. It's gonna go blackout. We can try. Nope, we're dead. Clawing and frashing. If you feel like you dark, do you reach the janitor's closet so you can get for your phone. Here we go again. Let's look around a little bit. Is there anything else I can take advantage of? If the boss dies... But the power goes out, you can't access the terminal. So that doesn't help. We have the hazmat suit now. Loose protected documents. Nothing is used, nothing of use. Let's check the room, the locked room. 
Oh, interesting how it's like it's slightly bugged. In the sense like it, it didn't have the sound uh program for this room for the emergency. Yeah, no. And this is password protected. Yep, there we go, it's dead. But you can't escape it. Not even when it tears into your sweet flesh like it does now. You're being limb from limb in the dark. You have to kill it. Or buying that yourself. But for now, you can close your eyes. And open them when it's over. As if nothing ever happened. Okay, so we need to get the password from the boss. To do that, we're gonna need to clean. We're gonna need to move fast. Real fast. Go in here first. Clean us a whistle. For this can away too. Why not? Good enough. Get you. Looking fine. I right, let me take the count how many of these you got clean. Three. You can only clean three of these. We gotta go mop up some more. We're just new. Good, good. I think we need to do this before the first blackout. Should be... Okay. There is one near the elevator, though. We need to go clean up the mop and go there right away. And just, like, bolt back. Yeah, there's one here. Looking fine. Put the documents away. You can choose this all clean except for the blood out of the vent. Put the can away. Give me the password. Seriously, I'll take care of. Already. Ah. Uh, well, if it's done, it's done, and that's what's important. The elevator's passcode is 584. Something you haven't checked in down there, too. So you follow standard procedure and make positive things are all up to code. 584. Okay. Now we're all gonna die. I should inform you of this. We're all gonna die. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Fire and brimstone, all the rest. You come down here every day with these same jokes, Lawrence. I suppose it's just a new work environment for you. It's not exactly for everybody. But nor is it some retail trite professionalism as the bar. Well, I suppose you'll get used to it. Listen to me rambling. I have to work to get back to. If that will be all, and I'm dead. Because the power just went out. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna... deal with this. So, to the next life. You close your eyes. And open them when it's over. As if nothing ever happened. Okay, we just need to get the stuff just to be able to get in. And just beeline the screwdriver. It's the big thing. Because we will need the hazmat suit. So we need to get down there before the power gets out. If not, the elevator will not work. Okay, okay. Let's go. 
Climb in. Good, good. Rush, rush, rush. They do not pay me enough to be a janitor. I am saving everyone's lives from a multi-dimensional time-skipping flesh being slime. I'm not really sure what it is, actually. Get the hazmat suit. Got it. Okay. So we wanted... Get in here. Whoops. Five, eight, four. Opening elevator. Now, I kind of forgot which password went where, but if we have enough time, we should be able to... Which one do we go into? Here it is. Not that one. Huh. There it is. Customized is highly dangerous. Proceeding without standard hazard protection is not at all recommended. Let's just keep going. Don't got time for this. Oh my god, there's eyes everywhere. Okay. Yeah. End this. Access granted. Are you absolutely sure you want to shut down Subject 502's life support system? End it. Yeah, I see what they meant by mass. It's literally like an abyssal creature. You wait. Nothing. Eyes shut tight. Jaw tense. Breath fogging the visor of your suit's helmet. But seconds and minutes later, you are alive. Fired? Probably. But you are alive. And you'll take that. Are we really? Okay, we are. That was cool. Uh, it actually fit the, the Game Jam theme pretty well, because the Game Jam theme is essentially, uh, well, immortality and looping and infinity and stuff like that. But generally all looping horror stories usually have kind of the same structure. It's always like the journey that's interesting. It's, it's never so much like why the loop happens. I think even in Groundhog Day, one of the original, like it never really explained why it happens. Because that doesn't really matter. It's the chance to have the storytelling and someone kind of try to solve the puzzle of their situation. So this actually covered that whole aspect of how it would be like if you were stuck in that loop. Because we kept having to repeat doing things and things you could only do in one route and one try a lot towards the finale every little piece came together and it all kind of worked out and it all fit into a game jam timeline kind of uh how you describe basically they have like a countdown to when it's gonna be submitted by so that's why people like will start to rush or try to like contain things down to a certain size of game so this game actually used the subject matter and fit like enough game into it in that time frame pretty well but yeah anyway so thank you all for watching you play Custodial. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.